Hi guys, I'm here to do a quick hobby lobby haul um, clearance haul and I'm, I'm sure you guys have been watching a lot of people post on YouTube the Hobby Lobby clearance and a lot of the stuff I got is is the typical stuff that um, I was just the Hobby Lobbies near me I have went for the past two weeks and not been I mean found anything that they've marked down until yesterday so today I want to share with you what I found this one is a little atypical than what you have seen um, as far as this paper so I wanted to start off with this first they have the 19 by 24 large sheets of art paper like the loose sheets that are up against the wall um, in the fine art section so I picked some of this different sheets of paper up and the first thing that I found here is um, this sheet of Opalux. It's translucent paper. I have an idea what I'm going to do with this. Hopefully it turns out. This was $4.99. I got it on clearance for $1.24. So I picked up two sheets. I think that was all they had left. So hopefully you guys if you guys like big sheets of paper and you are into fine art or even if you want to take these and cut these down for your journals go look in the loose the big loose leaf section of the um, art paper this is a big sheet of Duralar which you can use with your Cricut to create stencils or whatever cutter that you have this was $7.49 originally and I got it for $1.87 so I'm really excited about that that's a nice thick piece um, another sheet this one was $3.49 and I got it for $0.87 cents. and this is a color line 19 by 25 it's a Canson like drawing paper and it's got a it's nice and thick it's got a nice texture to it it is a kind of an eggshell color um, so I was happy to find that and I got two of those and then this one's a little bit darker nice like manila envelope kind of color and this one was 74 cents so this is also a Canson paper drawing paper was $2.99 and got it for 74 cents this is another one but it's a little bit of a different shade and it was also 74 cents originally $2.99 these are acid free okay here's the color this is honeysuckle and let's see the last one that I showed you was champagne so they do have the color names on on this and then my last sheet unfortunately this is all that they had this was at Strathmore so they do have like one type of paper that is Strathmore and it is a nice texture um, great for pastel color pencil whatever it's got a little tooth to it and this one was 62 cents and it was well, I don't have the original price on there but so that is kind of the different thing that I found versus um, what everybody else has been hauling but of course yes I did haul all the planner stuff which actually by the time I got there a lot of the planner stuff had been picked through. I had gone there, that same Hobby Lobby, I had gone there Monday evening. They had nothing marked down, went there yesterday, and they had had all the planner stuff that, you know, I had seen being hauled marked down, but it was pretty well picked through. So all that was pretty much left was this large um, planner, which was originally, you know, $35, and I got it for $8.24. And this one's really cute, though, so luckily... There was one left and I got it. Um, oh, in the um, the iron-on section, like the the clothing, um, sewing kind of section, I did find some iron-on stuff, which now that I have my Cricut, I can't wait to try this stuff. So, 
you can just cut out whatever pattern and iron this on and there's a little example which you can't really see that but yeah it's a little element that is really cute so this was the only pattern that they had on clearance so this was 74 cents so i have picked up two of these and it doesn't okay it says 2.99 for that then i picked up the carpe diem 72 appointment weekly inserts for the a5 weekly planner and that was originally 8.99 got it for 224 like i said i think this one was the only one that was left hanging there so i was lucky to find that um found the agenda 52 planner pocket folder so that was 5.99 and I got it for $1.49. So this is really cute because it's got little crosses here, little pockets. Oh, here are the designs. So there's some florals. There's some geometric pattern back there. So there's four designs in this pack. Uh, also got some planner stickers. So that was originally $5.99 and got it for $1.49. There are eight sheets and there are 246 pieces in this so really cute sorry my coloring is off today on my camera i keep playing around with this and i just can't seem to get it right but and this one is another one um same thing 5.99 got it for a dollar 49 this one is the lazy weekend 251 pieces um the other one was called navy slash green planner stickers. Uh, found another set. There's some A5 planner tabs. So you've got each month in here. And that is really cute. Double-sided monthly tab dividers. So really like those. Those were $249 was originally $9.99. And here's another um, assorted tab dividers, $9.99. Got it for $2.49. So this is the Agenda 52 brand by the Paper Studio. So same kind of thing, but different. This one's more geometric. I like that, the little cityscape. Cityscape there, there's some clouds. There's um, chandelier. So those are really neat. And... They only had two of these traveler sized planners left. So I got one and I like this one. This is really pretty, really light bluish gray background with some polka dots and some roses. And this was originally $29.99. I got it for $7.49. So very cute. I'm sure you've got, you guys have probably seen a lot of people haul these, but I really like this. It's got little spaces for your cards. And it comes with an insert space for your pen. And let's see, not too much more. Oh, got one more of the Agenda 52 stickers. And this one is the black gold. And that was $6.99. And I got it for $1.74. And there are 240 pieces there. And there's all the stickers that are included. And I know I'm rushing this, but, and then last but not least, I got some tags and this is so cute. So this is the shaker. I've seen people haul this. There was only one of these left. So this was 99 cents and it was originally 3.99. So cute. I think there are, how many tags are in here? There's two. So there's two of these and, oh, nope, sorry, not last. Um, I also got, because my daughter likes these seals, these wax seals, so I got the pineapple and butterfly wax seals, and originally $12.99 on clearance for $3.24, and there are three different colors of uh, wax here, and there's a pretty metallic gold right there, and then her favorite color is teal, so I did get, um, another extra set of wax seals the wax and this was 5.99 originally and 
got it for $1.24. So I was excited to actually find, a, finally find one of the Hobby Lobbies marked that down. And I got, oh, there's something else. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh. They had a lot of the books, like the knitting books and the crochet books on clearance. So they do have a lot of ribbons. There's a lot of things that were on clearance, like, oh, the alphabet stickers. Those are things that I did not pick up because I don't really, I don't think I would use them. But if you haven't been, there are other things besides what I've showed you here. Um, you just have to just go through all the aisles and look. So this is a crochet book, and this is the plant hangers, pretty little plant hangers. I got it for 99 cents, was originally $3.99, and these are so cute. So this reminds me of like, you know, the 70s macrame hanging planters, but crochet. And those are so, so cute. So I don't know how many different... And a lot of them are easy to medium. These all look actually fairly easy or medium. There's a cute one for an air plant because I don't have a lot of like floor space. So, and I like plants, so I may give this a try. And then lastly, I have been wanting a rotary cutter. So fortunately they do have rotary cutters on clearance at the sewing section and these were this was originally $14.99 I got it for $3.74 and it has four pieces so you've got the rotary cutter two-in-one slash and rotary cutter so can't wait to try that for the fabric and for these big sheets that I got because I would probably cut especially the translucent paper and the Durala or cut them down to make smaller projects. So thank you guys for watching and I will have to start doing some crafting with all of this stuff so stay tuned and I hope you guys find seeds of stuff that you would like and find some stuff on clearance for your hobby at your Hobby Lobby and hopefully you find these papers if you're into that. So appreciate you again for watching and please thumbs up if you like it and share it and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and i will see you again next time thank you guys bye bye